Ceres, a dwarf planet discovered on 1st of January in 1801 by an Italian astronomer, Giuseppe Piazzi. Ceres is located between the orbit of Mars and Jupiter in the asteroid belt. It is a belt full of asteroids between Mars and Jupiter. Ceres is around 440 million kilometers away from Earth, which is actually not that far away considering other planets and dwarf planets which are many times more distant than that. It is as well quite a small place with 945 kilometers in diameter, making it the smallest dwarf planet. Despite that, it still contains one-third of the mass of the whole asteroid belt, which would mean that asteroid belt is not that massive. Sirius has a surface area of 2,770,000 km square, which is just a bit smaller than Argentina's surface, so that isn't quite big even for a dwarf planet. Still, that doesn't make it less interesting, it is one of the most mysterious places in the solar system. Starting with bright spots of Sirius, which as well as the whole surface of Ceres was captured by Dawn spacecraft that NASA sent in 2007 and it arrived at Ceres in 2015 and this is the picture of Ceres from 13,000 kilometers above the surface as we can clearly see there are huge bright spots inside one of the craters it remained a mystery for a while then Dawn spacecraft approached Ceres 345 kilometers above the surface and the spots were captured. And no, they are not some alien cities, they most likely are piles of salt. Still, it is not very well known how these piles of salt got there. And there have been many of these bright spots or piles of salt spotted on Ceres. Next, organic matter on Ceres. Yes, there has been spotted a large amount of organic matter on Ceres's northern part. Now, organic matter is any chemical or compound mixed with carbon which is what life is made out of. And it is kinda rare, so that would mean that this gives us quite a good sign that there still is or have been life in Ceres. But even more surprisingly, there was evidence suggesting that this organic matter came from inside of Ceres, meaning it probably originated from Ceres. So since the dwarf planet is 4.5 billion years old, it could be possible that life sparked from that. That is a long time. Plus, there is likely a water ice layer in Ceres or an ocean hiding underneath the surface, meaning it has water and carbon chemicals, which could give a sign that there is something there. Next, besides the mountains that were created during crater impacts, which can barely be considered mountains, there is actually only one mountain in Ceres, that is, a Hua Mons. That is like if Earth only had one mountain, it would be weird. Now, a Hua Mons is 4 kilometers tall, half the size of Mount Everest. It is the largest mountain in Ceres and the only actual one. It is proposed that it was a cryovolcano, a volcano that spews cold water that quickly freezes and ammonia and methane. And while this cryovolcano spewed this material over time, it piled up, so this mountain was created. Now, that is reasonable, there is no other explanation. But why is that the only trace of a cryovolcano that created some terrain that was found on whole Ceres? Why aren't there many other mountains on Ceres made just like a Hua Mons that were made the same way? Well, that's the mysterious part. Next, usually we get all kinds of meteorites from almost any solid planet and moon here on Earth. Meteorites are created when some other meteor or asteroid hits some planet and bits of pieces that come from the crater impact are set to flying and those bits of pieces are meteorites. And some meteorites eventually reach Earth, so in the asteroid belt, place where Ceres is, there is another big asteroid, Forwesta, and we get meteorites from Forwesta all the time. In fact, 6% of all meteorites seen falling from Earth come from Vesta, but none come from Ceres, which is in a similar place. And we don't have a clear answer as to why don't we get any meteorites from Ceres. And that is it for this list. Ceres is quite a mysterious place, located in a not that very well known region. It is a good thing that we gave some attention to Ceres by sending a spacecraft, because, well, as we can see, it did really pay off with some amazing discoveries. Still, we probably have many more things to learn about Ceres, so we should keep exploring.